<laughs> hey, Victoria, how you doing? Good, very good. So, um, you've been in Abilitat. It's been 10 days you've been here. And um, yes. how was your experience? First, tell us who you are first. I'm Victoria Lee, and I'm um, from Santa Cruz, California. And I'm a level three practitioner at the moment. Yeah, very good. And um, how'd you come to Faster Tea? Um, I found you on YouTube. Um, November of 2013, and um, I was looking for help to get out of a slump, out of a depression, just yucky. Um, life was changing, and um, I was, I had gone, I guess I had heard about EFT, and I thought, okay, I'll try anything, and um, especially if I could do it myself at home in my bedroom, and so I was, and I had a lot of time on my hands, so I was, I was looking and so I was watching a EFT, and I thought, it's complicated, you know. Mm. But I had a lot of time at that time, and, um, and how the videos just come up, and, and I clicked on, you know, the next one with EFT, and then it was different. It was, it was you talking about something different, and I was like, so, I was like, okay, the next one, the next one, the next one, and the next one, and I just probably spent three hours right then, and probably fell asleep, and woke up and like for, I'd say easily three weeks, just watched video after video after video and started tapping. And um, I was looking for what was wrong with it, really, mm. you know, and why hadn't I heard about this? Mm -hmm. And and, um, and why weren't my friends telling me about this? And, uh, but come to find out, no one, I didn't know anyone. I've asked everyone, I'm always asking, do you know about Faster EFT? And, so um, we're getting the word out there. Mm -hmm. um, I started a journal because um, I wanted to watch all of the videos. And I think I, I got up to 350 of them in mm -hmm. a chronological order. And, mm. um, and I, I did goals probably for really the first time in uh, January of last year. Um, I saw a video on Habilitat before and after. And I was like, that is what I want to do. That is what, that if I could do, if I could help people make those kinds of changes, get rid of that struggle, that mm -hmm. thing that just keeps you in that cycle round and round, which I was going through, you know, every, you know, just kept on. And um, if I could do that, and so I figured out what I had to do to get to Habilitat to do that, do level one, two, and three all last year, committed to doing that, and that oh, yeah. was not easy. <laughs> I went through a lot of stuff to get that done. A lot of training, huh? A lot of training, a lot of healing, um, a lot of stuff. And my, I would, I can say that everything in my life has changed. I, every, everything. Um, I still have the same mom, <laughs> but our relationship is completely different. My son, it's, it's, it's different. Um, my life is different. And I'm so grateful. And, and then, you know, so then after level three, then it's like to do Habilitat. And that was, can I really do it? Can I really do it? Um, so glad that I, mm -hmm. I did what needed to be done to get here. This has been life-changing, absolutely more than so, I expected. So can you tell us a story, one of the experiences you had here that really touched you, somebody you worked with? <laughs> there are so many. Um, is it's not just about um, working with the residents, it's working with other practitioners. <laughs> it's okay, I'll, um, yeah. Um, well, and then I'd say that from the first time going to Faster EFT level one, that it, it's family. It is so family and the relationships I created at level one, it, it's amazing, absolutely, it's so, oh, okay. And then to come here, I mean, I absolutely, I have, I love so many people, so open to love so many people. Okay, so the first session that I did, the second session, third session, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be in love with so many people when I leave here. And how do you do that? And how do you take them home in your heart and, you know, and, and, and love them in a way that really, really supports them and supports me? And, and I, 
you know, so I'm going to be working on that because it's, it's so much. Mm-hmm. So the, the man I talked to this morning that we worked on a couple of days ago, and he had, that was his second session, and the first session just kind of took the lid off. <laughs> and he's like, oh, help. And we're like, it's, you know, it's the process. It's a process. It's a mm-hmm. process. You know, mm-hmm. you had to work on it every day. And, and that one memory he told, he, so he was just beaming this morning. He said, um, I said, you're tapping every day? And he says, yes, I am. And he said, I just got to tell you, that memory of jumping on the bed, jumping on the bed where his dad came in with the belt. And I mean, I think almost a lot of people have that memory with the belt, you know, that you're doing something wrong, but it's so fun. And then you get in trouble for having fun. And, and, and that was such a strong memory for him, just devastating. And, and, um, it, you know, we went through the process, went through the process. And then I said, so can you invite your dad to jump up on that bed with you and jump with you? And it was like, what? I said, because he needs to have fun. He didn't get to have fun as a child, or you know, maybe he didn't get to. And and you could just see it switch on his face, and he's like, my dad didn't, my dad didn't have fun as a child. And it, I know it just like he he just had this compassion for his dad suddenly wash over him, and and he's jumping on the bed with his dad, and he's remembering that this morning and sharing that and. He said, that changed my life. Huh. That changed my life. And it, it's, that's so simple. Mm-hmm. It's so simple. And, you know, we've done a lot of work, a lot of work, and, mm-hmm. you know, big things. And, but even little thing like that has, has changed his life. Yeah, a four- or five-year-old memory. Because, yeah. you know, we all have experiences. And one little experience, you know, could be that simple look or a belt or a move. Yes. And to a child... The whole world changes, and they build everything on top of this one experience. They, they find something wrong with themselves. They beat themselves up or think no one loves them or feel abandoned, mm-hmm. and then they build a whole life on one experience, and we go to that one experience, just one experience, and everything else, the, the dominoes begin to fall. Yes. And um, that is, that's the amazing thing is when you rewrite the story, yes. re-imprint the memory, then mm-hmm. things really, really do happen. Yes. Very yes. good. So you had a good, good time here? Yes. I want to come back. I woke up this morning going, oh, I want to come back in July and January. <laughs> okay, I'll just put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a sacrifice. I mean, we coming here. You know, we mm-hmm. we put a lot. You know, it's our families at home. Yeah. You know, they're without us for you know nearly three weeks by the time yeah. we come in the beginning, mm-hmm. and and <coughs> it's it's a lot. Big. But it is. The, I mean, everyone was saying that it is, it's one of the very best things I have ever done. Very ever. Good. Ever. Good. Well, glad yeah. you made it. Thank you. Take Thank it home you. and help your friends and family. Yes. Yeah. I have a um, member of a trauma consortium in Santa Cruz, and I do, I want to, I want to bring this back, and, and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> very, very you know, I, I got it. I, I got it. All right. Very and good. I can share it. Good job. It's kind of exciting, huh? Yes, very exciting. Very good. Thank Thank you. you. Very good. So exciting. Love